Good morning. Embracing the message of false prophets leads to what result? Today we're in Jeremiah 23, verses 25 through 29. I have heard what the prophets have said who prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long will this be in the heart of the prophets who prophesy lies? Indeed, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, who try to make my people forget my name by their dreams which everyone tells his neighbor, as their fathers forgot my name for Baal. The prophet who has a dream, let him tell a dream, and he who has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, says the Lord? Is not my word like a fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces? So false prophets actively attempt to change the understanding of God's people. They are prophets of the deceits of their own hearts. Deceptions and lying are central to their activity. And the outcome, when false prophets are successful, is to lead God's people to forget him and to begin to worship other false gods. So how should God's true prophets react to the uh, work of the false prophets? Just preach his word faithfully. Just be faithful in your space. Do what God shows you to do. Deliver the message. So here's an encouragement from God to his prophets. He says, what's the chaff to the wheat? God's word has power. The word of the false prophets only has temporary power. You know, deception only lasts so long, and then the lid comes off, and we see the deception. The Bible shows us what God is like, who he is, what his character is, and how people understand God to be. That's determined based on what they receive as being uh, spoken from him or on his behalf. So the false prophets are trying to communicate a distortion of who God is. They try to distort his character by their false messages. So in the sounds that are all out there, God's prophets need to speak the truth. Speak the truth, just let it fly. They must faithfully execute their office and speak his word faithfully in, in his behalf. It won't be received with much appreciation. They won't be selling any t-shirts for God's truth. That's okay. And so then what's our part? Well, our part is to walk close, walk close to him, so close that we can discern from his word the difference between the true and the false. And God will be with us. He wants us to come through. And so let's be in the word. Then we'll understand his purposes for us at this moment in time. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. Uh, you've given us your word so that we can be right. Bless us, Lord, we pray. Show us uh, who you are. Help us to be in the word daily, Lord, so that when strange messages come, strange fire comes down the pike, we'll understand it's not from you. We'll understand what's true and what's false, what's from you and what's not from you. Please help your people, Lord, in this hour. We know you've given us just what we need. Help us to be faithful with it, Lord. We ask for this help in Jesus' name. Amen. So if we embrace the message of the false prophets, we'll misunderstand who God is and what his purposes for us are. If we hear the true prophets, we'll better understand what he wants us to do at this moment in time in the vineyard. God be with you today in the vineyard.